we're asked to find the greatest value of lambda that makes matrix A singular. A square matrix that is not invertible, meaning it doesn't have an inverse, is a singular matrix. And a square matrix is singular if the determinant of the matrix equals zero. So to answer this question, we'll find the determinant of this two by two matrix set it equal to zero and solve for lambda. So we'll use vertical bars to represent the two by two determinant. And again, this must equal zero if the matrix is singular. And now the value of the two by two determinant is equal to this product minus this product. So we'll have the quantity negative nine minus lambda times the quantity negative two minus lambda minus two times negative six, and this must equal zero. We'll go ahead and multiply this out. We'll have four products, one, two, three, four. Negative nine times negative two is positive 18. Negative nine times negative lambda is plus nine lambda. Negative lambda times negative two is plus two lambda. And then we have negative lambda times negative lambda is plus lambda squared. And then we have plus 12 equals zero. Combining like terms, we have lambda squared plus 11 lambda plus 30 equals zero. So we have a quadratic equation, which is factorable. The left side factors into two binomial factors. The factors of lambda squared are lambda and lambda. The factors of 30 that add to 11 are positive six and positive five. So this product equals zero when lambda is equal to negative six or when lambda is equal to negative five. So both of these values would make the determinant equal to zero, but this question only asks for the greatest value of lambda, and because negative five is to the right of negative six, negative five is the greatest value of lambda that makes the given matrix singular. So our answer here is lambda equals negative five. This is the type of equation that we'll end up solving when we're trying to find the eigenvalues of a two by two matrix. I hope you found this helpful.